You know, you just play these long intros, John. Well, I figure we wanted, you know, content. So you, yeah. you know, your voice yeah, is really yeah, the yeah. thing. And I, yeah, I started that yeah, one too early. Yeah, you got yeah, it. All right, all right. Take, uh, t- so first of, all, and... first of all, you're, uh, you're, you're complaining about Tom Petty, which. Well, I'm not complaining about Tom Petty. It's just, it's just long, right. t- long intros. Put, put, put a title back in Petty Cash. Oh. oh. All right. Oh, so, hey. oh, speaking of which, by the way, uh, you know that there is a country out there that, that doesn't use cash or, or credit? For any of its any currency usage, I smell a dad joke. Well, I mean, it's the Czech Republic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put two yeah. titles back in Penny. Yeah, that's right. Thought. All yeah. right, welcome back to the show for <laughs> caregivers about caregivers, hosted by a caregiver. This is Peter Rosenberger, and you're listening to me and the Count of Mighty Disco, who is <laughs> Sans Two Title. Hey. And um, <laughs> we are thrilled to have you with us. 800-688-9522. 800-688-9522. If you want to follow on Facebook Live. It's at facebook.com slash hope for the caregiver. And, uh, and their website is hope for the caregiver.com. The book is hope for the caregiver. The YouTube channel is hope for the caregiver. Everything we're doing is about hope for the caregiver. We're offering it. You take advantage of it. I promise you, you will, you'll thank me. Actually, you'll thank John because he helps me do all this stuff. Well, thank you. But we, we, we don't want you to do this alone. Uh, we want you to, to be encouraged along the journey. And our goal for this show is to, Help you lighten up a little bit, laugh a little bit, get a little stronger, learn some things, and and for your heart to be in a better place at the end of this show. That's how we know we did a good job. If you if you're just carrying this load a little bit easier, and uh, we're glad you're with us. Um, listen, we're going to do a new segment here. John, do you have any music for this? Uh, no. Remember, we talked about this. You you sprung it on me. You know the one Can who you produces sing the show. John? Oh Can you sing no, something? you don't want that. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a segment called "Meet the Neighbors." Yeah. Meet the neighbors. Now I have just moved to Southwest Montana, and I'm from Nashville. Been in Nashville 35 years. Same house for 28 years. It was excruciating to move. <laughs> we, I promise you. I promise you. This is a true story. We went through more tears and drama, I think, when Gracie giving up stuff to get rid of out of the house than she did when she gave up her legs. I, I kid you not. I remember her looking at her surgeon, and her surgeon said, does it hurt that bad? She said, yes, it does. Take it off. And then I watched her going through stuff at the closet, in our closets. You can't give that away. I had that in junior high, you know, kind of thing. It was just right. real tears. And I was like, oh, baby, we're going to have to have an intervention here. But... Uh, we moved out here. Uh, the, the climate is so much better for her. We've been coming out here for 30 years. We love it out here, and uh, we're glad to be here. But I went to go grocery shopping um, in Bozeman, nearby Bozeman. I, I am 50-plus miles away from the nearest traffic light, John. That's a uh, <laughs> that's an interesting <laughs> metric. I like that. We are a long ways from, from pretty much everything. But I was in, we went to Bozeman. And a couple days later, I happened to, and I don't check this very often in Facebook, and somebody had tracked me down. They sent me a message and said, hey, were you at Albertsons in Bozeman a little earlier on such and such day of, at about 530 in the evening? And I thought, well, this stalker went to a lot of trouble, you know, because yeah, that's spam yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, okay. And and I and I wrote back and I said, well, yes, I was. And, and she said, well, I, I think I have your, your debit card. Oh. And... And she said, what's the name on it, and what color is it? <laughs> and so I said, well, it's Peter Rosenberg, and it's green. And and sure enough, she had found it, and she kept it safe. She wanted to get her address. She mailed it to me. And it turns out that her name is Kylie, and she's with us today. And it turns out that she has a job that directly affects what we do here on this show. So I asked her if she'd call in because we wanted just to meet the neighbors. And so, Kylie, are you with us? I am with you. Kylie Steer, and you live in Bozeman, and you are not only an honest, but a conscientious person, and I am just thrilled to meet you for the first time. Uh, here we are on the air, and I asked you to call into the show. Uh, that's a little weird, isn't it? But you did it anyway because I guess you just, you know, you didn't have anything better to do this afternoon. That was a joke, Kylie. I thought, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Clearly well, not I much of one. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, it's great to be on and meet uh, you in a way and know that the card returned safely and a good deed was done. And by the way, John, before you even have to ask, I actually sent Kylie something as a way of a thank you. Well, that's good. Thank you. She probably yeah. hasn't gotten it yet, but she will. And a, a I, gift certificate to Taco John's. <laughs> no, <I'm> just, 
I'm just kidding, Kylie. I'm just kidding. Now, tell me what you do, Kylie, because I was really fascinated about to find out that this is your job, and I, and it directly affects what we talk about here. So tell me what you do. Yeah, so I am the business office manager at uh, the Bozeman Lodge in Bozeman, Montana, and it is a um, retirement and assisted living facility. Um, so uh, we have completely independent people um, and also people who need assistance, so all in our facility there. How did you get into this work? Um, I was looking for a new job, and my roommate actually works for the Bozen Lodge as well. And uh, I asked her if I'd be great at that, you know, the business office manager. She thought I would, so I applied, and it has been the best job I've ever had. And I am so thankful that my roommate said that I'd be good at it, and I gave it a chance. Even though I wasn't 100% qualified, <laughs> I definitely, like, took a leap, and it's amazing, and it's great, and I hope to continue there for a long time. Well, you obviously have not only a, a tremendous sense of character and responsibility, um, but you, you, you're, just, you're just a kind soul. And what have you learned in working in this environment that you didn't know before? I think the biggest thing I learned is that you don't know much about anyone, but you can get to know them if you just care a little bit. And I've gotten to know so many different people and their, all their stories, and it's so amazing um, to know what they've gone through and where they've come from and all that. Well, I think that is just marvelous. I, I really do. And uh, I, I just applaud you for the work that you do. I've, and I'm just very – of all the people to find my debit card – and Gracie is – let me tell you something. My banker, it, it, we're on speed dial because I have to constantly cancel a card because <laughs> I lose these things a lot. And uh, Gracie just, just gets – she puts everything back in the same place every time. She is so methodical about all that she does with it. And me, I'm just a little bit kind of on the – you know, scatterbrained side sometimes, and uh, it, it just infuriates her. And of all the people, though, to find this on the ground, I guess you found it on the ground, didn't you, in the parking lot? It was right next to my vehicle, and I walked right over it. I had bought ice cream that day, and I put the ice cream in the car. I said, I just passed something on the ground there. You know, if it's trash, I'll pick it up, throw it away, or what have you. Um, so I went back, picked it up, and I was like, oh, this is someone's card. And I got on Facebook, tried to find you. <laughs> I mean, John, do you hear what we're hearing here, John? I mean, she not only, she was just going to pick up trash. Yeah. I mean, this, is, this is what this is an angel, John. Yeah, She's like, an like angel straight up. Us. It's like, it's like, oh, it was trash. It was, this is a, I, I'm the kind of guy that really, uh, I, I take pride in, in like putting away grocery carts that are loose in the parking lot and stuff like that, that. So you're speaking to my soul here, you know? <laughs> well, Kylie, you are a treasure and you get to be the first on our new series called Meet the Neighbors. And if you're an indication of, of the kind of folks that the Bozeman Lodge hires, then that must be a stellar place to work. It definitely is a great place to be employed. I will say that. Well, I'm glad that, that you're there. It just for all the folks, that the residents and the family members who trust uh, you all with their loved ones, uh, that must be incredibly meaningful to hear a story like this. And uh, we'll put this out on the podcast as well. And uh, I just wanted folks I mean, to I'm be... calling her manager. Oh, wait, you she's should. probably, she is the manager. <laughs> well, she's, the, she's the business manager, but you know, you should, John, because I mean, look, look, you don't find, you're, you're a breath of fresh air in today's world, Kylie. So thank you very much for that. And thank you for making my, uh, my entrance into the Southwest Montana area uh, a smooth one. That, that could have been a disaster. And you helped, and you took the time to find me, and then send it over there to me at, uh, here in the Madison Valley. And uh, and I'm just I'm just very grateful to know you, and I hope to be able to meet you in person soon. That would be great if you're in Bozeman sometime. Just let me know. Well, we're going to stop by the Bozeman Lodge. I'd like to meet all the folks up there, and uh, I'd like to see a little bit more about what you guys do. But. Thank you for being a part of our new segment, Meet the Neighbors. We have no theme song. John's going to come up with a theme song for it, you know. I'm just going to I'm going to commission you to write one. I will write one. There you go. Uh, I'll do the best I can. Well, <laughs> Kylie, all the best to you. What do you got planned for the rest of the Sunday afternoon? Um, well, just 
hanging out in the sun. It's a great day. It is a beautiful day out here. I'm not going to – don't let's don't tell John what the weather's like, okay, because he's back in Nashville. Ed's producing the show in Dallas. Let's don't tell him, Kylie, because <laughs> – it, it, it would it would it would cause them a great deal of duress. <laughs> Isn't this a beautiful area out here? And it we've is. been we've been coming out here for thirty years, and it, it it has really captivated my soul. But Kylie, Kylie uh, Steer, thank you so much for calling in, and thank you for being a part of this. And I look forward to uh, to meeting you all next time I'm in Bozeman. I'll swing by. All righty, thank you so much. You're quite welcome. See, that's our Meet the Neighbor, John, our Meet the Neighbor segment.